To create an inventory count using All Orders Mobile, I will first click the Count button from the Activity screen. I will now be prompted to enter an existing count number. I'm going to go ahead and go into All Orders and create a new blank count for our purposes. I can see that my count number is number 4. I'm going to go ahead and enter that into All Orders Mobile and click Go. All the information for that count will now be downloaded to the device. I can now click on Perform Count to begin counting my items. The Auto Scan checkbox is for scanning barcodes and incrementing the counted quantity by one each time that the barcode is scanned. I'm going to go ahead and leave that off right now. I can select my bin, select the item that I am counting, enter in a lot or serial number if necessary, and then click check. If the user has permission, they will be able to see the current quantity that is listed as on hand for this item. I can then enter my new quantity that has been counted, click Save and New if I am done counting this item and ready to count the next one, or click OK if I am finished counting. I can also click See Count Items to view a list of items that have been counted. Here I can see my gumdrops item has been counted. I can remove the default filter, which shows just the counted items if I want to see my entire list. Or I can always create a new filter by selecting a bin, an item, or a counted status, whether it's counted, not counted, or both. I can now see a subset of the list of items that need to be counted. I can highlight an item and click on Perform Count to create a new count for the item, or click Go to Item to edit the existing count that has been performed on this item. When I am done, I can click OK to go back to the main screen. Submit Count will send the counted inventory to all orders. Back in all orders, if I reload count number 4, I can now see that my gumdrops item has been successfully counted. That is how you perform an inventory count using All Orders Mobile.